Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. up on June in preparation for the Roman the Jungle 5.0, man. I gotta ask you about this, June, man. Internationally, I think it's four people coming internationally with their dog. I'm four. saying with their dog, with their dog. 40? No, yeah. four, four, four. 40? <laughs> four, 40? <laughs> no, it's a lot of them, man. Wow, this, that's actually people. bringing that dog also? Because yeah, I, I, I saw four a, people that said that. a lot of people out here. There's some people been out here since Monday. Oh, a wow. Lot of, a lot of people out here from London, from the UK. A lot. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, they bring it dog. Prime already out here. Uh, they big rope um, hustle. Um, there's a lot of people. Let me ask you, man. When you hear something like that, uh, people coming from all over the world, man, and bringing their dog internationally, man. What's that feeling like knowing that it's, it's, not, it's not a Nationals? It's, 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 it's not part of a big registry show. It's yeah. June Williams show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people show. Man, um, really, it, it feel good. It's like everything is paying off right now. Cause if you think about it, my first four years, all I did was travel to shows. Bro, my, my furthest drive was 31 hours. You know, it can be a show right here in the city and I go way to California or something. You know, I drove 31 hours to New Jersey with five dogs. So, you know, bro, it, was, it, it just really feel good to know that it was built and not handed over. Um, I see people, oh, they throw shows for this, they throw shows for that, they just throwing shows for money. Now you can say what you want to say, but I threw my first show in 2015. I just thought that I didn't have enough money to actually put on the type of show that I would want to put on. So for me to get this for, say, bro, it just paid off. And, and, and the people, you know, the people see what it is. You know, everything that's, that's happening right now is the things that I did. You know, um, me me going there, like I'd have drove the shows. It's, 
Feel good though, I'm tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> we back in Dallas with it, man. Oh yeah, man. Back in Dallas, right? This is where it belongs at. I have a lot of people that ask all the time, um, man, bring it here, bring it there. You gotta stay at home, man. Um, one thing about it, a lot of people can be saying, hey, bring it here, bring it there. Hey, bring it to our, our city, our state. But honestly, bro, when you take a show out of town, it be a lot of hate, bro. You got people saying, bro, they trying to come take over our city and trying to outdo us in our own city, telling people don't buy boots, telling people don't go to my show, people talking about don't put no money in his pocket, all types of crazy stuff, bro. So, um, you know, bro, it's, it's, you know, when people got a mind frame like that, that's crazy to me. So you only hurt yourself. Or, or you you hurt I'm not gonna say you hurting your city but you taking taking something good that's coming to your city that's bringing exposure and things like that to your city so experiencing something like that is no need for me to take it nowhere else I'm gonna leave it in Dallas Texas where I'm at now with that being said on tomorrow man you're giving away thousands of dollars man and different uh, giveaways you want to talk about that briefly um, yeah we got um, 2500. Um, going to best out of state, then we got 2,500 with best in Texas. Therefore, no matter where you at or where you coming from, you got a chance to um, win $2,500. Um, and also, I'll be giving away um, $1,000 for the ladies only stack off. Um, and of course, we're gonna get thousands away to the kids. That's that's a given. So probably anywhere from about seven to ten thousand dollars. Now, I, now, you made a big announcement also that you're not doing two Rumble in the Jungles. This year, uh, you got the Rumble in the Jungle 5.0, then you got the big meet and greet yeah. uh, taking place in October. Talk about that. Um, I just think having having two jungles with it being so many shows now, and with it being, um, you know, it, truth be told, bro, we, it's, the world is still at a recession right now. So um, with it being two shows, a lot of people can't, can't make that trip. You know, and then two shows, it just give people a chance to, okay, I went to this one, so I'm not gonna go to this one. Or, oh, I may not go to this one, so I'll go to the next one or something like that. It's giving people too much of an option. Um, and it, it leaves too much space for um, you to have a smaller show. Um, going backwards, a smaller show can, can, can hurt the whole everything. Mm -hmm. So. Anytime you have a smaller show, somebody may feel like, oh, the show falling off, or hey, is is that going to affect the next show? And you don't you don't even want to get those type of options, bro. So at the end of the day, you got to be smart. So instead of throwing two jungles, that's why I was like, you know what? I take it back old school, you know. So I do one rumble in the jungle, and I do um, a meet and greet at the park. And people still coming from um, all over for that. Uh, all over, man. I got people that's not even coming to the jungle because they waiting until the meeting greet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's super crazy. We are gonna have fun. Um, I be having free food. I be having free drinks. Now, of course, you can't drink at the jungle, but I will have alcoholic beverages for free um, at my meeting greet. Um, so I will have security and I will have police. Um, of course, we're going to have to pay for categories. I still have dope trophies. Um, we're going to do games like maybe volleyball, kickball, tug of war. Uh, we might have a balloon fight. Um, man, we're going to have fun, man. You know? <laughs> um, I, I, dunking pools, um, um, bounce houses. I'm going all out, bro. <laughs> now, I, I got to ask you about this, Joe, now. You know, you saw all the big American bully people talking, going back and forth, man. Heavy presence coming to the jungle. What's your thoughts on that, man, with the American bullies coming deep? Um, to me, bro, I love it because for the simple fact, um, they they really tried to crush my show, my first couple of shows. Um, a lot of people saying, oh, it's just an exotic show, or oh, it's, it's just this or is that or it ain't this, it ain't that. Like like my show was a mockery or something. So to be able to, to show people different and to show people that my show is the show for the breed, it's the show for the people, and now showing it that it's, it's my show is the show for the culture, not just the American bully breed, 
but for dog lovers, reptile lovers, animal lovers, all in general, um, I now got Rockwallers, uh, Cane Corsos, Bull Terriers. Um, you got people bringing monkeys, snakes, monitors, all types of stuff, bro. So, you know, um, that's a great point, June, because uh, you actually talked about that. Uh, make sure to get here early because you're starting the day with the Rockwallers, the yeah. Cane Corsos, that group. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, bro, it's, it's, it's just it's, it's a good thing to be able to go from what what people, the narrative that people try to paint versus me standing up and standing on all 10 toes and, and showing it, not just telling, but showing what my show is. You know, that's a great point, June, because I remember during that time all the talks and stuff and, and yeah, people trying to make up. But from that point to where you see today with four different registries being a part of the show, uh, that, that kind of make you feel make you feel good hey, and justified. I, hey, I used to say it back in the day, man, um, eventually you're going to have to come see me. <laughs> 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 hey, I, I, bro, I called it. Eventually you're going to have to come see me. And when I used to say, you gonna have to come see me, or it's a new day, today shows that. So everything, you know, it, it all took its course. Um, I'd have been through a lot behind the scenes, you know, a lot of stuff that transpired that people don't even know about. But everything happened for the better, man. Um, I'm here now. Um, usually I, I have help, you know, when it when it comes to the business side, but. You know, some things happen. You know, it is what it is. And this time, it's, it's more personal for me. And I'm, 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 I'm extremely happy about this show for the simple fact that I did everything myself. Yeah. From the business to to everything, bro. Um, talking to the venue, handling two different emails, um, working two different phones, dealing with the people, dealing with the public. I, I can imagine, Joan, because I'm going to be real serious here, man. I can imagine you really on no sleep. Oh, Probably yeah. average one to two hours of sleep a night um, when it comes to a show like this. Yeah. Uh, and you talked about this. You don't have partners. You don't have sponsors. No. You no. did that the first time around. Yeah. And you were yeah. never yeah. doing that never again. Never again. Never again, man. And talk about that, man. How, you see, a lot of people think it, it ain't easy throwing a show. It oh, ain't no. easy throwing a big show. But I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, bro, it's like I sold my most booths at like three or four o'clock in the morning. So it's like, you really want to sleep or get you in some sleep, but when that inbox go off, you, you got to jump on it because they might got that money today, but when you wake up in the morning, guess what? Man, maybe something that came up, that money gone. So, and then too, and not even just, just about the money, bro, because like I got people now that's trying to get a booth today. Um, I, maybe they thought I was playing when I said booth sold out. But once I got to this venue and I showed everybody the venue and you see how big this venue is, now guess what? Everybody want to boo. Dude, but do I, that for real. I'll tell you about Do that frustrate you, man, because you've been talking about this for damn months. Don't wait till the last but every people, minute. People think that you just trying to sell boots, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling you, this venue is huge. Huge. Your, your feet is going to hurt. That's and it's cold telling, in here. Yeah, it's freezing, bro. I ain't lying. <laughs> but that's, that's, but that's why good, I, though. That's why I keep trying to tell people. Bro, get a booth. You gonna need somewhere to go sit down. Your dog gonna need somewhere to go rest. I'm not just trying to tell you to, to get a booth so you can throw me some money. No, you gonna need a booth. <laughs> Especially if you bringing dogs or you plan on competing, you gonna need a booth. Now, June, this show, man, you got influencers, athletes, rappers. Yeah, <laughs> Everybody yeah. got booths, man. Yeah, man, they, they coming, man. Um. It's, it's just something that, that, that I built, man. I, I ain't gonna say real, recognize real, but people know what's real. You know, I, I don't have to call myself real, but people know what's real. So um, a lot of people adapt to me. You know, I don't try to make it seem like I'm no bigger than nobody else. You know, um, some people may take some of the things I do, I say like, like I'm cocky, but I'm not. I'm just confident and I know what I built. So some things I'm, I'm not just gonna, be this super humble type of person, which I think some people got the word humble mixed up, but I'm, I'm not going to just not be happy about the accomplishments and the things that I have accomplished, and I just sit quiet about it, or I just act like I don't know what I built. Like, bro, it took a lot. It took 10 years to build this. So, you know, I'd have been homeless. You know, I'd have been without, you know, I'd have, I'd have been without electricity, water, gas, all that. So I know how I feel. Oh, they in there? 
Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. They yes, sir. in there. <laughs> they in there. We gonna put them in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I'm gonna put them beside the rhinos. But um, yeah, man, like it, it, it feel good, bro, to to be able to to build this and to actually see it pay off. Um, so you just gotta be be prepared for me to be happy and to see me smile a lot. And from from time to time, I'ma talk my shit. <laughs> hey man, from me to you, man, I'm proud of everything you're doing, I man. That. See you from the bottom all the way, man. Yeah. Like people don't know, 24 hours on the road, you ain't again by yourself and your yeah. dogs, yeah. right? Yep. Why is that? Why is that though? No crew, Dedicated, no nothing. Bro. Um, no crew, no nothing. When when I first came in, bro, I started this movement called the Underdog Takeover, and everybody laughed at it. Um, I started with money bags. Everybody, I, I didn't even know, but they was laughing behind my back. You know, that's when the exotic um, movement really got mm -hmm. tough. Everybody was saying he think he got exotic. He got an American bully. So. Bro, I just got out there and pushed my dog. You know, whether whether you liked it or not, I felt like he was dope. I felt like he was one of the hardest dogs in the world because I came from game dogs. So, you know, to see a dog like that, I felt like ain't nobody else have it until I went to a show and see, oh, bro, it's a million. Yeah. Here. <laughs> but, you know, it, it was like I still had to push and, and do what I do. And with me coming in from game dogs, I already know how to breed. So that's, I produced um, Lil Bags, which was his son. I produced him on, on my very first bully breeding. So then it was over from that. Um, Joe, how many, how many uh, uh, different uh, dogs you have, man? You got Belgian, uh, um, Frenchies, Right now exotic. I got um, Belgians, a Belgian, um, a Frenchie, and an exotic. Um, I done slowed down on breeding because I'm booked for so many shows. Um, but I will be back breeding um, this year. I bought 33. Um, he'll be here tomorrow. Um, and I'm buying two females for him um, because 33 don't have a tail. So I'm going to buy two females with a full tail, probably a lilac try and a chocolate try. I might buy something at the show tomorrow. So, um... Do you hear that now? Be on point? Yeah. On point. So I'm, I'm about to, um... Yeah, I might buy something tomorrow if I see something I like. But I'm about to turn up on the breeding side too to get 33 some um, some production up under his belt, um, some in-house. Um, hopefully I can clone him. You, you, you um, think people it. still be forgetting about you on that side of the world, man? Yeah, they got me bent. Um, I, I still get my flowers though from yeah. people who been in the game. Um, they still give me my flowers on what I did on the breeding side. But you know, bro, some sometimes your your blessing not always what 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 you think is gonna be mm -hmm. and it's it's not always what somebody else wanted to be um them blessings don't come every year so when your blessing do come you got to take it take it and right now shows is my blessing so i got to take that blessing so i'm here all right man i truly truly I'm appreciate here. your time man the most book man in the bully world facts yeah <laughs> check it out man y'all know we ain't gonna do no show Gorilla American Bully Stack Off. Oh, this is Gorilla American Bully Stack Off right here. Gorilla American Bully Stack Off right here. So, we got the mini belt, we got the gorilla. Now, Zed Pins Dog of the Day, let me show y'all that. You got to go in the ring for that. Oh my Jesus, they got bad mainline Frenchies with this big bro cluster. That boy's working, man. Come on, no, man. Hey, Big Mike. I'll come pick you. That boy got that working right here. You gotta get a ring for this one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You gotta get a ring for this one, Zach said. I'm gonna need y'all to tap in, man. Look at that. You picked it up. You picked it up.
picked it up. Shit, that motherfucker's solid. Pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, you thought I was bullshitting. That's a real motherfucking solid ass joint right there. And that's like the, uh, that's like, that's like this part to it. Yo. You see it? Who made it? Who made it? Oh, no, I can't, I can't get that up. I can't get that up. Everybody and mama gonna be doing it. See, see that's, that's the go around that. King of the jungle. Straight stack from uh, American Bully. American Bully. It's nice, y'all. We gonna bring Zell back out. We gonna bring back out. Mayday, Mayday. Mayday. He's coming back out. He's doing that American Bully. That bulls that dog. You got Zell pissing the dick. And you know, he let the kids. You know Zell let the kids. We talking color. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta say one thing, Mike. Mike, one thing about my belts, you can't buy your way into them. You have to be selected. Come on. Look, man, we're talking exclusivity, all right? When Zeb Fizz pop up, it's like this. You got to be hand-picked for this stuff, so he's watching. When you not watching, Zeb is watching. Then he going to pick you. He's going to tap you on the shoulder, like this one right here. Junior Handler, get ready. I know there's a lot of them out there. Who you know coming out with the coloring boots? Hey, trap Zilla. Love that dog right there. All right, there you go. All right, I'm out here in the room of the jungle 5.0, man. Look who I got, man. Randall Donald Murphy and Deontay. Yeah, what's sir, good, yeah, big dog? Sir. What's up, what's up? What's up? What's, what's up? going on with you, man? It's your boy Murphy, man. Y'all know what time it is. Oh, my God, Deontay, man. Look, man, we out here. The room of the jungle. Hey, supporting the big homie June, man. One of the big shows in the world. Hey, it's amazing out here, man. If you've never been, you gotta get out here. It's crazy. Yes, sir. I'm gonna visit. All right, I'm gonna start with you, Donald, man. I, I, you, you've been traveling all over, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, some big dates you got coming up. One yeah. of them is the, uh, the Atomic, Atomic Dog Show Mexico. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't I, I just talk about it. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a blessing, bro. It's to be able to, uh, to do what I do, you know, man, and, and travel to get to it. You know, we've got about 40 shows this year, man. So, it's, it's just a blessing, bro, to be able to uh, get this travel and do that. How's that Mexico show, man? Because I heard it's really big. I, it's my first time. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah so, I heard it's a but big I, yeah, I just get to the airport. They're going to pick me up in, in, the, in the police cars and the black trucks. And I'm going to just ride the wave out. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, you got a show coming up. Yes, sir. Yes, as sir. always, yeah, the yeah, annual show. Always. Talk about October, it, big dog. Uh, exotic is the name of the game, volume 7. October 4th and 5th, Celebrity Bully Basketball Game. It's going to be crazy, man. Uh, Murder Beach, South Carolina. If you've never been to Murder Beach, you need to get there. It's, it's good vibes. Hey, I have one of, them, one of them shows where it's like a family reunion, man. So, you know, that's going to be good. And I got the National Bully Awards, the first ever National Bully Awards. Like, for my show, that's normal. I, I, I'm used to that. I can handle that with no pressure. But the, the award show is, is something that I feel like the community needed. And I admitted it, and that's what I wanted to do so I can give back to the community. People like yourself to get your flowers, people like June, and people all over the world that's been putting in work over the years to get their flowers. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, rappers, they have Grammys, why can't we have them? You know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's going to be big, man. I can't wait for that, yo. That's what's up, man. Yes, sir. Not, that's July 13th. July 13th. July 13th, Atlanta, Georgia, Center Stage Theater. It's going to be crazy. Like everybody, every, I don't care who you Come are, out, man. Come out. you got to be here, yo. It's going to be crazy. That's what's up, man. Yo. Now, Deontay, man, talk about the new registry, first of all. My name is Deontay, owner of EVR, Exotic Bully Registry, located out of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, kind of started, you know, wanting to do my own thing by having shows with other registries like ABR and BRC. And, you know, so I came up and you know, wanted to step up and do my own thing. Um, on show number eight, take place March the 9th out of South Carolina. It's called Rockin' the Bulls. I got Mayday going on, 5.0. That's in Atlanta. That's going to be December the 16th. Um, end of the year show. Come out. It's, you know, a nice family orange event. Now, I got to ask you about the, uh, the EBR registry, man. What was the, uh, the reasoning, uh, like you said, that you wanted to do your own thing? 
get away from uh, a lot of politics. Let the registry be the registry and let the dogs be the talk. It's for the dogs. Okay, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about the dogs for all you. All about the dogs. Well, that's what's up, man. Good, great to see y'all out here today, man. Yes, sir. Doing, doing great things, positive energy, man. And once again, like you said, man, y'all got some big shows coming up, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, truly appreciate y'all time today, yes, man. Yes, sir. Shout out to hey. Rolling the Jungle 5.0. Oh, I forgot to ask you, man. Talk about your boy, man, that oh. everybody been talking about lately. The world's <laughs> talking about him, bro. Uh, EA. He's a blessing, man. That's all I can one say. One of Crown's man. best sons, yeah. head down. Yeah, he's definitely one Short, of Crown's best sons. Short, compact, man. He, hey. uh, He's a boy. He's gonna shock some people, man. I'm, dum, I'm, dum, I'm dum, gonna dum. bring him out. Uh, his first probably will be my show, honestly, because I have so many breeders. I, I just I can't bring him out like that right now. But uh, my show, close to home. He's gonna be out. You know what I'm saying? It's not just the name of the game by himself. Now I gotta ask, big dog. The bag offers start coming in. Yet? Yeah, I got a couple of them already. I got I got some on co on that almost tempt me. But, uh -oh. you know, again, I'm blessed, bro, so I don't have to do that. So, you know. That's a blessing when you. Yeah, do. yeah. And so when that when the real offer comes, you'll know because we'll be gone. <laughs> right now, the other offers, they just they just look good for the moment. And that ain't nothing. They, I, I made that already. You know? Man, I, I got to say, man, it's, it's a great thing to see brothers doing great things in yeah, the bully sure, world, man. Sure. Don't want to get into the whole race yeah, thing yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, of it, yeah. but at the end of the day, man, brothers deserve their flowers, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool. All right, man. <laughs> All right, man. Bully Clubs here Pitts. We out. Hey. You said you've been watching me since middle school. Since I was in middle school. I graduated in 04. That's crazy, man. That's I'm crazy. They tall watching this thing. Yeah. And if I, I, every time I'm trying to catch him, I miss. I finally seen him. And I had to come see him again, too. This is who I look up to, man. I used to love you. Said that since <laughs> I said, man, y'all need to stop doing that to me. Hey, man, but it's an honor to find a needle, man. God damn. Man, man, much respect. Much respect, man. Hey, much respect, bro. Respect, big dog. Great to see you, man. And I will definitely be at that meet and greet uh, in October also. I'll be back down here. I'll oh, be back. I'm going to show you. You know, you know we start. We're the one who started cleaning this out. I know you heard about it. I know, you, I know you heard of the Clean Design movie. I know Yo, you oh, yes. It. Yes, I have. Right, so I'm the one, the one who started it. Stop playing. We are the founders of the Clean Design movie. And you had to get that grief about out there with them boys in the Midwest. I got so much grief, but now look at what the game is now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's just, it's just, I don't tell people clean as y'all is, but now they can be a dollar. It's not the place to pick up, but now they can be a dollar. We talk about the time, back in the day, when you had Kuwump, you had uh, Romeo Nell on the lease, needed grief for Power Gallon Show. And when you came on Free Show, Pee Wee, Yo Nell. on where the game is going right now as far as the dog. I think the game is going in the right direction because now if you look at six years ago to now, six years ago, people were still experimenting. People were still doing F1s, first generation of kids, which is a French to a bulldog or whatever to create the, as they call it, the perfect design. So now where the game is at now, you see more functional bulls. They can't walk. They can't live. 
So we used to show our, our trainers how to walk a mile a day. Show that not all is not so messed up. So I get out of breed. Every, every, every breed has messed up dogs. But we used to target them because we don't. They like the American Pit Bulls. They like they did uh, American Pit Bulls did American Bullets. Yep. Now the American Bullets doing the test with their <laughs> Is that now? I'm happy, and now you see people say I want to clean the pool. You know why? Because they want to see stuff they can walk on the leash. They want to see stuff they can go outside and play with the kids for a little bit. They want they, they want the dog to be a dog for a train. And they, and they about just bring the dog and put it on the table. So I got a table dog. Now we put it on the table, and it go in the ring. Now when we say clean this out, we mean it's a universal pool. We can stack on the table, we go on the ring, we can throw and play fetch, and it can still be a pool. That's what's up, big dog. Look out for that, uh, Haney, uh Big dog. I'm proud, but I'm more proud to meet this man right here. I, I, I tell you, hey, me being yay tall in middle school and high school, I'm proud to meet this man in person. It's a, it's a, I tell you, my hands are it's a fucking honor, man. Right Much respect, dog. Much respect, bro. I promise you, man. I'm mad to see you, man. Respect, big dog. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep showing people the positivity. Keep pushing like you've been pushing. I'm always up for real fan. That's what's up, man.
Rodriguez. All right, I got to ask you, man. I'm what brings you out to the Rumble in the Jungle 5.0 today? I actually came out with one of the homies to support him and compete. I'm very, very new in the game, but you watch out. Damn Bulldogs is coming. Follow me on Instagram, I'm telling you. Now, I got to ask you, man. What's the number of Rumbles is this for you? Is this your very first? Or? Very first, number one. What's your expectations on today? Expectations? Watch, listen, and learn. Watch, listen, and learn. That's it. And right now, how old is this boy? You say he the smallest EB in the building? Smallest EB in the building. He's about 18 months. 18 months 18 right 18 here. 18 months, full grown. Will not Eight. get no bigger. 18 months right here. I'm walking out with a title, a trophy. I need a belt. I need something. We drove a long way. <laughs> get him, my boy. Right now, this is your boy production right here. Beautiful dog right here. Beautiful. Now, how old is this little boy right here? She will be eight oh, girl. on she. Tuesday. Eight weeks on Tuesday. Beautiful, beautiful. to the jungle today. Bringing the boys out. We got seven and ice age here today. Man, it's like a big, uh, heavy American bully presence gonna be here today, man. Yeah, it's our first time. Yeah, we've always we've never been here before, so super impressed with the venue. It's great. What was the design factor to make you come to the jungle today? I think it's like the last venue seven hasn't been to. You know, we tried that running hitting, but all the possible venues we get everyone to see him. This is one of those shows we just never been to before. So. Now, will he do a repeat for the 20K sack off? I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Where are you traveling from today? West Virginia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You were actually closer to my area. Yeah, yeah it's okay. About 15, 16 hours away. Okay, okay. Good to see you out here today, man. I, I expected him to take a, a few things home today. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, he bad, man. Good to see you out here. All right. Man, what, what, 
brings you out to the jungle with that bad boy, Oscar, man. I gotta, I gotta show him off, bro. I, I didn't really want to drive all the way to Texas, Pennsylvania. I drove like 24 hours nonstop on three hours of sleep. God damn! But I had to bring the boy out. You gotta see him because seeing him in real life is so different than seeing him in pictures when people see him in their minds. It's my first time. He's a fucking monster, man. Yeah. He's way bigger in real life than he is on film. Tap boy, crazy. Damn. Head, neck, and shoulder. Like a little bodybuilder. Damn.
Let's go, big boy. Right here we have a brim sun. Most brim. brim. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Is that Dixie accent? <laughs> yeah, with a B, with a B, brim. Damn! That's Louisiana, baby. New Orleans, Louisiana, the building. Man, what's your uh, Brimson name, man? Oh, Pop, Big Pop. Big Pop? Yeah. He a bad boy, man. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. We now, I got to ask you, man. Why Why you say he's the most extreme of the Brimson? Because he is. You can see, see what you're on to. He, he a monster. I know that. I know that. We're going to show him the deal. We're going to show him the deal. Yeah. I, I come out here to prove a point, brother. He just turned two years old in December. I was waiting for him to get a little up in the age so I could compete with the, you know, the older dog. You don't come out there with a young dog trying to compete with older dogs. So. How's the production been off of him, man? Uh, it's been pretty good, actually. Been bred to some decent females and, and huge. Now, are huge. Now, has Ashton seen him yet? Uh, I see Ashton seen him. I don't know if you know Sean Gilmore. Yeah, yeah. Sean had made a post. He came to my house to check him out in person. And Sean made a post and Ashton seen it. And he hit me up. He was like, man, you got to get some pictures of that boy. You're missing out on a lot of money. And, Hell you know what I'm yeah. I mean, when people see him, they see what they get. I haven't, I just got a new camera. I just upgraded my camera. So I, by me working all the time, I haven't had time to really get photos of my dogs. But I will be in the future. Real, and, real. and you say he, he'll be in the rain today? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I definitely, in, I definitely. He'll be in on um, best extreme, most extreme, biggest head, biggest bone. And she'll be in best blue. Beautiful yeah, dogs, man. Beautiful. Yeah, where, where can they find you at, Big Dog? Uh, um, Blockbuster Bullets 2 on Instagram. Oliver Williams on Facebook. Appreciate your That's time, Big Dog. Basically, my own social media. That's what's up, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, it. brother. Oh, they light up, too, man. This is crazy. Beautiful. Beautiful. How did you come up with the idea for the light up logos? It's because I have a, a sign business, so people will ask, hey, can you do something personal? So I said, well, I'm going to start making, you know, personal stuff, especially events like this one. Now, for a, a piece like this, how much will a piece like this run? That one will run for 265 265 This is beautiful. And like I said, it lights up. You can see also the light up also as well on, on the different custom ones. Beautiful pieces out here. So just to show you, these are what happens. They'll hit the light and they light up. Just like how this one is right here in the middle. But you can get your logo done, uh, anything done. Pictures. Beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you.
Arkansas in the bill. Yo, that's what's up, man. Arkansas in the field. He's taking out. He's out here. Keepers are for sale. Keepers are for sale. For sale? Are, are these your keepers or are they for sale? He said the money right. The bag truck. The bag truck. for the ABR yeah. team today? Yeah, come to our table, come check us out, come get ABR registered. If you're registered with any other registry, you should have no registered. Um, we have $15 off today, and um, it's gonna last for the weekend, so. I gotta ask, man, what's the next big show for the ABR? Uh, the next big show is in Vietnam. So it's um, oh, actually wow. in a few days. I think it's um, over the weekend. Okay. Uh, yep. Cause I know y'all got that big show coming up, um, the Atomic Dog Show in Mexico. Yep, that's sure that's yeah, all of our shows you can see on our website on the calendar. Okay, that's what's up, man. Good to see y'all out here today. <laughs>
see you out here in the jungle, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, what's the blood on that boy right there? Uh, it's a colossal son. To, I mean, it's colossal to my prim daughter. Whoa, nice combo. How old is he? Uh, he is 17 months. He not even finished filling out. No, no one there. He's going to be a monster. I don't know. I don't know. We, we go for the team. That's all we can do. Yeah. Good to see you out here, big dog. I appreciate it, bro. Respect. Let's see if I can get through this crowd, see what's going on over here. All right, what we got going on over here? Slide right behind.
Alex Brown, champion of Berlin, first Merle. This boy, oh, I thought he was gonna take it. What, what Polo say to you? Uh, look, with his front, straight up in front a little, he's a little extreme, so he's a little heavy up top. That's the only 11 bucks, what happened? He only 11 bucks? He only 11 bucks. Pretty hard, though, I ain't gonna lie to you. Respect, big dog.
down. Fast oh, day. man. Maybe months. Has that combination been done before? I don't think no, so. I don't think so. Yeah, that Kobe with Giagi, that's a nice combo. Yeah. Now much short back, nice rear, good front. And he got a good side. Oh yeah. Let me ask you, big dog, where you traveling from today? I'm in Dallas. Oh, right here in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, hometown, baby. I know. Rumbling Drugs of 5.0. You know. It's the only show we can be at today. Yes, sir. Man, what's your thoughts on a day like this, big dog? Hey, man, this is what I expect. A big crowd, big turnout, good looking dogs. You know what I'm saying? A hey, good vibe. Hey, that's what we come to do out here in the Triple D. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put on the city every time. Yeah, that's what's so, up, man. Do it. Hey, and we're here to support. I didn't want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Man, good to see you out here, man. Bad boy. Too, man. Oh, that damn. I see you. All right, dog. Already. Appreciate it, man. Respect. Yes, sir. Good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, big dog.
much. Congratulations, big dog, on the victory today. What's up, man? Best out of state will be next. Best out of state will be next. How much is it, Mike? Twenty-five hundred. All right, all right. He picked this. He picked this. He picked his pick. Everybody else, get to the exit this side of the ring right here. So we're gonna come back to right here, represent the Long Star State. You know what I'm saying? Big up for Texas. Here we go. Here we go. We got ATS, we got the Valley in here, we got East Texas, we got West Texas. Our best tries, y'all get ready. Place. There it is. My first place. That's my best. 